Hello folks, Bronco Bob here with Texas Best Used Motorcycles. I'm here today to show you a 1955 International and it's the Traveler model. It's a resto mod. It's riding on a 1991 Chevrolet Suburban two-wheel drive chassis. So you get power steering, power disc brakes, a throttle body 350 motor, a positive track rear end, front disc brakes, and whenever you need parts, you just get them for a 1991 Suburban as far as the chassis. It's got air conditioning. This one has the ambulance doors. It has rear air. That's what's in this little box right here. It's got some teak wood uh, trim inside. The front seats are out of a Suburban and they're power. But it's got all the old school latches. Everything works. And I've had this truck about two and a half years and I made it a company vehicle. Our company is Texas Best Used Motorcycles. Put a trailer hitch on the back and I use it to go around town picking up motorcycles, calling on dealers. It's got, got some Goodyear tires that I just put on about a year ago. They're still pretty fresh as far as rubber. And the, I've put about 20,000 miles on this truck. I maintain it. I service it. I've had the front end aligned. Uh, just normal routine stuff. Had the trans transmission service recently. It drives good. There's a kink right here on the floorboard. Kind of one of the flaws and the paint job on it is probably 25 years old. When you walk up on it, it looks good. It's shiny. But if you start looking real close, you'll see like here's a place where there's a crack in the paint. Um, I think over here on the left side, there's a couple more places. Yeah, right here, there's a bad spot. I mean, if you wanted to make it perfect, you'd repaint it. But, you know, it's a deli delivery truck. And it's certainly not perfect, but I sure get a lot of compliments on it. It's got the over, over uh, load leveler springs on the back. The front end sits pretty low. And as I mentioned, the motor is out of a 91 Suburban. It's a 350 throttle body. Not a hot rod motor by any means, but good reliable power. And it's got the 700R4 overdrive transmission. So you can cruise down the highway 70 miles an hour, no problem. And as I mentioned, these seats came out of a Suburban. There's your glove box. That's my insurance card. It has power windows. And the buttons are located up under the dash, as is the headlights. Headlight switch, just to kind of keep everything clean. It's got a the factory GM steering column with a tilt wheel. I'll start it up. It's certainly, certainly not loud. You got your knobs here for your uh, air conditioner. And I've got the AC on right now, and it's blowing nice and cold. And there's a knob down there to uh, switch the rear air on. The interior is pretty nice, it's kind of plain. The dash is all painted to match the body color. The paint on the hood is good, it's shiny. I don't think I'd repaint it, but you know, if you wanted to repaint it, you could. You can see some chips right here on the paint from the, I think it's from the seat belts hitting it. But I've driven this thing a lot. It's a driver, it's reliable. Got the battery is hidden up under the fender well here and you can see I don't know if you can see in there I got a battery tender pigtail so if I go out of town and park it for a week I plug in that battery tender but it's a 1955 international traveler on a 1992 I'm sorry 1991 Chevrolet Suburban chassis and the VIN number on the title is the Suburban VIN number. And it has the data tag from the International, as well as the just a, a reminder of the VIN number for the Suburban. But I've got a clean Texas title. It's really, it's really been a fun vehicle. Kind of hate to get rid of it, but I got so many vehicles, it's just kind of time to move on. But if you're looking for a neat old rig, you want to haul stuff around in style with cold air, reliable, 
parts are easy to get and if you wanted to take it to the next level you could repaint it you could put some mag wheels on it I've got some 16 inch steel wheels which are kind of plain but they're they're okay they look good on the truck a lot of these panel trucks didn't have all these windows and this one does almost like it was a, a school bus but if you got any questions give me a call or give us a call on Bronco Bob with Texas Best Used Motorcycles right here in Mansfield, Texas. We can ship it anywhere in the USA or anywhere in the world. And I'll put some pictures on the website of, the, of me pulling trailers and going all around, but I always get thumbs up because, like say, you can get on the highway and cruise 70 and you're doing like 2,200 RPMs. Have a great day.